Welcome back, know-it-alls, and thanks for listening to the show. Your support is awesome. Please continue to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Remember to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss an episode when it gets released. You can find us on all social media platforms under the name Answers for Everything Podcast. Use that same name on whatever podcast app that you use. We should be there. If we are not, let us know and we'll make it right. Because I feel like I have an accent. L- like Ukrainian or moron? No. <laughs> Prince Albert? I don't know. <laughs> it, pr- what would that be? <laughs> Prince Alberton? Prince Albert Lucian? Prince Albertonian? What is that? Prince Albertarians? Prince Albertarians? Yeah. What, what I don't of, know. What kind of accent would that be? I mean, it's not like you're from Nova Scotia, you know, or like you're from. Yeah. Um, Newfoundland did not divide it to you to the three days. Hey, 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 bud, you're gonna be. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's just poor then, anyways. Hmm. Don't know what to tell you. Or deadly. 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 That's a little it's bit different. Deadly. <laughs> uh, you have Disney Plus, yeah? No. I do. I have Disney Plus. Assess. Oh, if you want to sit back and enjoy uh, two seasons, like maybe eighteen episodes, it's called Reservation Dogs. It's about these young kids um, living on a reservation in Oklahoma, and their whole goal is to get out. Because uh, one of their friends, oh, yeah. one of their friends, uh, he ceased to exist due to his own doing, and his whole goal mm-hmm. was to leave. So they're they're trying to, you know, do it for him, right? It's and it's created by Taika Waititi, who was like the writer director of the last two Thor movies. So it's it's oh, awesome. really? yeah, I, I ripped through in it. It's there's a lot of stand up comedians in it. Bill Burr is in it. Um, oh, why can't I think of any other ones? But yeah, there's. I think there's, I've heard of it. It's so good. Like it was, it was really good. Like it, you really feel for these, these kids. Just they're just trying to, yeah. trying to live, trying to survive. It starts off with them stealing a chip truck, like you know, doing a doing a crime. And it's fucking like awesome. Potato chips. Yeah, like potato chips. Somebody's like dropping it off <laughs> at a grocery store, and they just steal it, and they're ripping through town with the chips flying out the back, and it's just like. I kind of wish I did that in high school, you know? I kind of wish I did that because it's kind of awesome. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't do it now. I'll go to prison. But back then, you could yeah. slap on the wrist. Well, maybe where we grew up. Yeah. So speaking of yeah. jobs, I mean, if you, you count stealing chips jo- a job, you you got a new job. Oh, just for people who are listening and, and don't understand who I'm talking to, this is April. And... uh for the next couple episodes, April and I are going to be chatting about life, love, romance, life, and things. Do you, do you believe romance. in romance? Do you believe in love and romance? Because I might have to let you lead with that. Because I, I don't, I don't believe in those things. <laughs> well, I think you know the answer to that. Huh? No. <laughs> All right. So maybe we're not going to be talking about those those things. But uh, today well, we're going to the typical talk- love and romance. No, no. Yeah. So like punching someone and then having sex with them, that kind of love and romance. Oh dear God. That's fiery. Yeah. Dirty. Anyway, um, new job time. So you have been without job for a short time. Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of reasons for the length of time Yeah, that I was unemployed, but yeah. But yeah, just suddenly having to um, totally change careers not always an easy thing when it's not something that's planned. Yeah. Well, not yeah. for you anyway, right? Some people plan it. But no, no, definitely. Somebody planned. Yeah, there was planning. There was yeah. special visits made. And yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so when, Not in my plan. When you, uh, when you get a new job, I haven't had a new job for so long, so I, I can't honestly tell you what it's like walking into a new place where you're the new meat. And you have to learn everything, right? I'm top of the food chain where I am. I'm cock of the walk. I'm the piece of shit on top that everybody hates because he tells them what to do. 
and it's been a <laughs> while since I've since I've been that person. So I everything's could honestly... old hat. Everything's old hat to you. Yeah. Yeah. So what's it like walking into a new place? How do you feel? Uh, it's in, it's intimidating. Um, the the place that I'm working at, everybody mm. has been there for twenty plus years. So They're a mean... real family. You know, it's a real solid unit that yeah. that I'm entering into. So you know, you you just want to be cautious of um, the culture that's already there, the way things already are. You don't want to run in like a bull in a china shop and, hey, here's all my new ideas. Yeah. You know. So do you try and be invisible? It's, it's intimidating. Or no. You, so you you try and be. No, secret. you can't. You can't. You can't. You're one person. And and you know how it goes, a new person. It's a new person. It's a new person. Yeah. It's kind of exciting, or sometimes it could be something bad, you know. So do you think people who work there get hired because they're related to the people at the top? Is it is it like that, where it's a lot of friends and family working together? Or they've worked together Not so long that they No? I find that that happens out here way too much where I live. Where pe- people just get the job because so and so knows so and so's dad or so and so's mom, then they they don't deserve the job. They didn't even apply for the job. They just got yeah, given yeah. the job, and they don't want the yeah, job. Yeah, I mean, I I definitely have worked at places like that, where it's like, okay, oh, this is not really a real title, <laughs> but you're on payroll. You know, yeah, I've worked at places like that. Do you watch those people and just think I? Why are you here? The amount of money you're wasting by existing. No? Well, they don't think of it like that. But do you think of it like that? Um, I don't know. That's not really my business, you know. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about your current job. I'm talking about your previous jobs. Previous jobs. Yeah. Um, I guess it can be a little bit frustrating if if they believe that they have some kind of power, say, over how you're doing your job and... They may not take things as seriously as you do. Yeah. Wait, you're supposed to it take your job seriously? Well, I do. Oh. Because it's not just a job. I have a career. Oh. Everything's a joke to me. So I think that might be problematic going forward. I, I mean, that might have been problematic I, yeah. getting here. Hmm. I, generally, things are a joke to me, but I do. I take my work seriously. I have a, a good, strong work ethic. I have a good work ethic. I mean, I, I don't shy to harder work, more hours, if need be. I mean, do I want to spend that much time there? Fuck no. But the more I look at it, if I leave the job to go home and somebody else is there, the next morning when I come in, I've got to redo half their stuff, even though I've already paid them to do it. So in the last couple of weeks, I've been thinking that my life would be easier if I just lived there. It would actually be less stress than showing up and realizing that I paid somebody for fucking seven hours last night and I have to redo three hours of their work. Like, why did I not just send them home and stay? You know? Yeah. I I mean, you could just do everything yourself. I I could. I mean, do I need to hang out with my children? Do they need? I mean, I grew up without a dad. Do they need one? Honestly. Mm -hmm. You and turned I'm, out fantastic. Oh, yeah. I'm well fucking adjusted. No problems here. <laughs> no problems here. <laughs> Nothing that a couple vaginas can't solve from time to time, you know, or penises. That just made me lose my train of thought <laughs> completely. What were we talking about? <laughs> no, no. no. I'm, 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 I'm well adjusted. I guess my kids will be fine, right? Well, like, what do you think it's like starting out new at your place? Like, when was the last time you hired a new employee? What is your onboarding like? We we have like three weeks ago we hired a new kid. But the thing is, Mm -hmm. all the people who we hire are all recommendations from the people who already Mm -hmm. work there of their friends and their family. Right. Okay. But they, they, you know, they don't, they don't get given, you know, a position like a, well, you're so and so's friend. You're automatically in charge. They everybody starts off at the bottom, you know, doing mm-hmm. the same shit yeah. that we all do. But it, it's always friends, you know. It's very rare we we look into the resume pool 
to pull someone else in. Or if somebody does yeah. drop off a resume, I pin it up by the schedule and all the staff will come in and they'll look at it and they're like, oh, hey, don't hire that kid or hey, hire that kid, you know? So, and then when they say don't hire that kid, I ask them, well, why? You know, and if it's like a personal beef, I don't listen. I don't care that you had a personal problem yeah. with them. You know, I'm going to talk to the other guys and girls. I remember I had this one kid working for me. He's a good kid. And then I had another kid working for me and he seemed like a good kid, but he was kind of a moron. And he looked at the schedule and he saw the guy that, that I just hired and he pulls me into the office. He's like, I'm not going to work with that guy. And I was like, well, what do you mean? Like, you're both like 16 year old kids. Like this, this can't be that bad. He's like, no, I'm not going to work with that guy. Like it's, it's either me or him. I go, well, I need to, I need to talk to him before you make that decision because I, I have no idea what this problem is. He goes, no, I'm not going to work with him. He's a piece of shit. Like I'm not. So then the, the kid's first day, I pull him into the office like, hey, man, so-and-so here. Like, I don't know if I threw the kid under the bus. I was like, he says he's a problem with you. He said that he's not going to work with you. He said it's either me or him. So uh, can you tell me what kind of problem you guys have? And he's like, oh, uh, my dad died when I was young, and he called me a fatherless piece of shit, and he tried to beat me up, and uh, I beat him up. So, yeah. Uh... I was like, oh, boy yeah (laughs) so then you know i pulled them both in the office like hey so here's the story you you said you won't work with that guy because he's a piece of shit but apparently you called him a fatherless piece of shit because his dad died and then you tried to beat him up and he beat you up is this true he's like well yeah i go well then um i'm gonna keep him on so you can leave if you want like because i'm not gonna work with somebody (laughs) that has a problem with that so he continued working there they both worked so the guy just swallowed oh, really? his really? Yep, they both worked. The one guy didn't have a problem. He goes, yeah, he's an asshole to me, but I beat the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. So if he has a problem with me, that's too bad. And uh, yeah. yeah, the other guy was just a bully, you know, piece of shit kid. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, one of them, the the one who, you know, lost his dad, ended up being a, a cook, a driver, a manager. He came back to work, you know, a couple more times after quitting to go, you know, he was doing his own stuff, like his own construction or concrete or, or whatever, but he would come back to work mm-hmm. a couple shifts here and there just because he needed extra money. So we kept him on for like five years, right? The other yeah. guy was gone in under and six to months. think if you had just listened to that one guy and just his side. Yeah. And it turns out that that guy was a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, the way that you hire is actually it's quite ideal and it's what a lot of businesses would prefer is to have recommendations to have some kind of a background on somebody before it's very expensive to hire people oh yeah to hire and train it's just money in the yeah. garbage you know if they if they don't last yeah i've i've literally just opened my wallet and just dumped it out said oh well fuck it yeah. so i don't need that money I mean, it's it's a high school job, right? You want to work with your friends, yeah. so obviously you're going to recommend. The only problem is that they're all friends. So when there's when there's a party, guess who books that day off? They're all going. The entire <laughs> staff will try and book off Friday, and you have to tell them like, that's not how this works. Yeah. Some of you are going to start partying at eight. Some of you are going to start partying at nine, and one of you is going to start partying at ten. And that's how this is going to go. It's never a problem. Yeah, and you know they're all going to try to call in sick the next day. Oh, yeah, we all went out and ate and got food yeah. poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> we we respect them and they respect us. We don't get a lot of, oh, my stomach hurts. I can't make it in. We get a lot of, hey, I'm not able to make it in for my shift. I texted so-and-so. They said they're taking it. So then I'll text yeah. so-and-so and that person's like, yeah. Responsible. Every, yeah, we train them at you know the age of 12 and 13 that – if you need your shift covered, just just text. There's 20 other people. Just text one. You know, someone will take it. People, yeah. people like money. I mean, I, I like oh, money. Yeah. Do you like money? I like money. Do you think money buys happiness? I do. Oh, I think it offers a lot of luxuries that can make you happy. Uh, it can open a lot of doors that can make you happy. I think you have to be smart with money, though. Yeah. To and actually it- try to find the true happiness in it. Anytime you don't have to worry about whether or not you have enough money to pay your bills and eat food, it means money's Mm -hmm. pretty worth having. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm, I'm really happy when I have a full stomach at the end of the day. Yeah. I feel you. 
So with the new job, is it better hours, same hours? Like, uh, not not like how many so, hours you work, but the your your timing that you have to be at work, and can, does it work around like your kids' schedule or anything like that? Or no, it's exactly the same. It's a a typical. It's like an office job, so like an eight to five, okay. Monday to Friday. And you find that that really works with your lifestyle, yeah? Yeah. It works with your kids? I mean, I would love to be working from home. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Yeah. I don't, I, I would love to wear pajamas, you know, and just like work on my couch. It'd be amazing. Have you figured could. Out to... You could make that your new uniform. Yeah. I don't get to, I don't get to choose that because we have a head office that decides all those <laughs> things for us because they are right. infinitely more intelligent than I could ever be. Mm, yes, they know their market, their yes. target market well. Yeah, vegans. They have spent <laughs> millions on research. Yeah. Do your kids uh, adjusted to the new job? Does it um, No, their... not yet. It's it's only been a week. It'll affect mornings for sure. Why is that? I, like, I have to micromanage my kids in the morning. You know? I have to wake them up about five times and make sure they're dressed and have all their stuff and get out and get on the bus. So I won't be able to do that anymore. But good thing they're teenagers. Yeah, it's a good thing they're teenagers. Yeah. My my, my daughter keeps saying, <laughs> hey, can you wake me up earlier? And I was like, you you, you have a, a phone. Just set your alarm earlier. She goes, yeah, but I need you to wake me up earlier. I was like, no, just set your fucking alarm earlier. So she'll set her alarm at 10 to 8, and then I set my alarm for like 5 after 8, and I go upstairs at 6 after 8, and I, you know, wake both the kids up. I go downstairs and shower. I come back upstairs, and they're both still lying in bed. I was like, well, now you have 10 minutes to get ready instead of 30 minutes to get ready, you know, or 40 minutes if you had like woken up when you set your own alarm. And so I get yelled at. I get yelled at because they couldn't get out of bed. And then I have to remind them that. Yeah, my kids are the same. It, it's, I tell them it's a them problem. I don't care if you're late for school. I don't, I'm not being late for work. So whether or not you're ready, I'm pushing you out the front door. I'm setting the alarm and you're going to school. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that makes me a dick. Yeah. Is that an asshole dad thing? Or is that a time to be responsible? Kids learn it kind of thing. It's time to be responsible. I think. Well, like my problem is when my kids were young, I was one of those moms that made noise when the kids were sleeping. I would vacuum. The dogs would bark. We had birds. People would come over. A TV would be playing. And then the kids kind of got used to the noise. And they started falling asleep to YouTube videos and whatever. They don't notice when an alarm is going off in the morning. They don't hear it. They're so used to hearing noise and crap when they're sleeping. Mm. (laughs) I try and avoid all noises while they're sleeping because I don't want to wake them up. You you would literally vacuum. Yeah. Shit? No, well, like when they were when they were babies, yeah. I was not one of those moms. That's like, shh, I just got the baby to sleep. Oh, that was my it's free like, time. No, well, we're gonna live our normal lives and you know, yeah, the kids they would just sleep through it. Hmm. Well, as long as they're still sleeping through it. Like uh, I, I always counted nap oh, time. Oh yeah, they would my, sleep through it, and that's the problem. <laughs> when my kids stopped taking naps, I figured a part of me was just over. Part of my life was just like thrown away. I was like, wait, so I have to hang out with you or do shit for you instead of you just sleeping while I like you know shovel the driveway or you know do the hot tub chemicals or watch a TV show. Oh my god, uh. that that last nap. I I miss those days, you know. I miss my children going to bed in the middle of the afternoon on a Saturday so I didn't have to, like, do anything. It was my time. Well, soon they'll be sleeping until noon, so you'll have the whole morning. (laughs) What I like about my my lifestyle is that I know that they can never sneak out of the house because, A, we have an alarm and I set it, and, B, I I don't go to bed till 3 o'clock in the morning. So I know know (laughs) they're... They're never going to be able to sneak. You're always watching. Yeah, they will They will never be able to sneak in or out of the house unless it's after three in the morning, which, I mean, I guess they could, right? We'll have at it. What's happening remember, then? Do you remember sneaking out of the house or were you allowed to? 
Like when you were, you know, um, 13, 14, 15. I don't think I, I, we had a really late curfew. So it, we didn't really have to sneak out. Not much happened after, after our curfew anyway. What about like school nights? Late curfew as well or? Uh, no, no, we just typically didn't go out. Oh. I don't know. I don't ever remember going out on school nights. I don't really remember school oh. <laughs> happening. I, I used to go out the on school school nights. time. I'd get home at like two o'clock in the morning and stuff to get up at seven 30 for school. And I, I guess that's what's trained yeah. my body for how I live now. Cause I, I've been yeah, going to it bed. It hasn't at, changed much. Yeah. I've been going to bed at three o'clock in the morning since I was 15. I've been waking up at seven 30 since I was 15. So yeah. I guess I get 40 more minutes sleep now because it's like 8.05 or whatever I get out of bed. <laughs> so as I'm getting older, my, my body can't handle, you know, four hours sleep. It needs four and a half, five. Curse. Wow. Curse. Body's falling apart. Shit, man. Yeah. Old as fuck. Got to learn how to so deal with it. So what hours do you work? Mm, typically. Anywhere from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. to... 4 p.m. till midnight or sometimes mm. both shifts like this friday i worked 9 30 in the morning till 12 30 at night it was a long day yeah no doubt that's why you're doing laundry there <laughs> it's only i've only done that that's the second time if i yeah i mean laundry day is friday in the house so i usually do it in the morning if or at night depending on my shift but this friday I had both shifts and my kids need clothes for monday morning for school so I had to do laundry and I couldn't do it yesterday because I didn't have time and I'm going to a movie tonight with my kid and I'm doing this podcast right now and I work during the day. So I wouldn't have been able to get laundry done unless it was after midnight tonight. And uh, unlike you, I'm going to not wake my kids up while they're sleeping by doing laundry and vacuuming <laughs> and shit. So they yeah. would never wake up. They okay. would never wake up and they still don't wake up. So you've trained them to be the people that need to set 12 fucking alarms during the day and then you have to drag them out of their bed yeah. to get them dressed. That sucks. Yeah, I apologize to them. I apologized. Mm. <laughs> I'm very aware of what I did to them. So how do they get up then in the morning? Like now that you're going to be going to work earlier, like what do they do? Do they do they just skip school? Uh, I, I'll still no. Well, fuck, I hope not. <laughs> I'll be waking them up still. And I'll keep waking them up until I walk out the door. I guess they take a bus. But, yeah, right? then it'll be. You, you yeah. just have to trust that they got on the bus. Yeah. Yeah. My kids go to school across the street from me, so I can watch my one kid walk into the school so I know he's there for the day. My, my other one walks across yeah, the other exactly. field. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, she's like the straight yeah. A student, so if she misses a couple hours, I'm I'm never really that concerned. But I don't want her sitting at home watching YouTube. Exactly. That pisses me off. Oh, I'm tired. I'm, yeah. I'm sick. What are you going to do? Watch YouTube for four hours? Fuck you. Get up. Go to school. Although she does have. Yeah, that was another thing. My kids used to fake being sick. Yeah. Just to stay home. So I would take away their electronics. Yeah. that so They couldn't play. You're sick. You're supposed to be resting. Read a book or whatever. This house is pretty sweet because uh, I control the Wi-Fi password. So I can just shut off the signal. So if they're not listening, like if they don't listen, I just go downstairs. I let them stew in it for like three minutes and then I shut off the Wi-Fi signal. So then they start coming downstairs like, hey, um, my TV's not working. Uh, hey, my iPad's not working. And I was like, hey, you didn't put your dishes away. Hey, you didn't put your laundry away. So, hey, you don't have Wi-Fi today. So then they go upstairs and they frantically like put their laundry away. They, they put the dishes out of the dishwasher, you know, they sweep the floor. It's like, there you go. All you had to do was that, but yeah. you wasted you wasted time arguing, and then you wasted time coming downstairs. All you had to do was do it. That's it. Which I think is probably better than hitting them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, kids cause quite a racket. Yeah. How many electronics does each kid have? Just one. Just a phone. Yeah. Like at their dad's, I'm sure they have more, but here. Yeah. We got them. Phone. We got them smart TVs for Christmas last year. So they can be like, hey, Alexa, yes. switch. And they'll put the switch on. Hey, hey, Alexa, Amazon Prime. Oh. And Amazon Prime just loads up on their TV. Oh, so it's like having a buddy. Yeah. that You know, it's like having a remote, yeah. but it's your voice. And they have access to all their 
streaming apps and all their video game systems like right in front of them. And yeah. it's awesome when they when they can't access it. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> I love how nice my children become when they don't have Wi-Fi. It's amazing. What can I do for you, Daddy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? Uh, I need the driveway shoveled. <laughs> what? Why? It's like, oh, I don't know, whatever. Your choice. Shovel it or not. What else are you going to do? Fine. You know, they put on their snow pants and they shovel. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I'm not a good dad. I'm sorry. I didn't have one growing up. I have no idea how, how this is supposed to work. You have nothing to compare to. Yeah. Other than TV dads, you know, like Bob Saget and the Urkel people and growing pains, you know, stuff like that. There were there were a lot of TV dads in our time. Yeah. Back in the 90s. And they were good. They were good dads. I know. I was a little jealous. Oh, sad face. <laughs> you want, you want but to talk about... at least I have a dad. <laughs> you, want, you want to talk about your dad? You want to open up? Uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm happy right now. I'll save thanks. that for another time and place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. Yeah. Come on. That, that, that'll be a... <laughs> You know, 55 minutes, four part series, you know, four and a half hours, <laughs> five and a half hours later, still droning on about April's it. daddy issues yeah. this series. <laughs> I did have a job that gave me daddy issues. I was just never good enough. <laughs> never good enough. <laughs> so what happens if your kids don't make it to the bus and you get that text or that phone call while you're, while you're at your new job? Do you, do you get mad at them? Uh, we don't. Uh, it's kind of hard to get mad at them. What are they supposed to do? Uh, Shit happens in the morning sometimes, and they're supposed to get up. If when they you miss tell them it to get for up. a good reason. Yeah, but they they slept in. That's that's a shitty reason. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Then they start losing things. Hmm. Punishment, chores, you know, stuff like that. Make their life inconvenient. My my kid goes to Catholic school, right? And she's got a, a class called chapel, I think, or Christian ethics or something. Maybe it's chapel. So she has to go to like, you know, where they talk on a podium and they sing and shit, I assume. I mean, I've never been there, so I don't know. And uh, she's like, hey, can I skip school tomorrow? I was like, from when? She was just the morning. I'm like, no, you can't. She was, yeah, but I'm getting like 90s and everything. It's like, yeah, but you, you, you can get 90s because you keep going to school she was i've got okay, chap- yeah. i've got chapel in the morning he's like yeah sleeping <laughs> i don't <laughs> I, I don't i don't care if you miss somebody singing about god i don't care if you miss that yeah. and i was like you, you don't want to go and she's like well well god's not real i was like fair enough so she's our she's <laughs> and figured, you're still allowed to go to that school well you don't say that out loud at the school <laughs> oh. okay <Yeah. laughs> it's uh the only french immersion in town so it was either yeah, that or no yeah. French immersion. So Yeah, that's like here. It's only the Catholic school that does French immersion? Yeah. Is that where your kids go? No. 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 They don't need French. Yeah. Ours was just across the street. So we're like, hey, the house across the street, the school. So that's where you're going. Perfect. Oh, oh it's French immersion? Oh, it's a Catholic school? Yeah, sure. Why not? You're going there. And plus, I think you need special passes to live across town to go to a different school. Like you have to go to one in your district. Can you, you can get in trouble for not going to the right school. I'm pretty sure. I know it's like that in Abbotsford. Like if you want, if you want your kid to go to like a French immersion school, you actually have to live in a certain area. Otherwise you can't go to that school, which is kind of stupid. Are you expecting parents to never move? Yeah, I'm in the country, so it's it's completely different. Our kids can pick any high school. And, and the buses go? Whatever bus will come in. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just bus transfers and whatever to get to whatever school they need to go to. That's convenient. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not country. sure how it works in the city, though. Well, I mean, I don't really live in a Living you know, in the country <laughs> is not convenient. But Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking living out there kind of sucks when you like. You know, you need milk. What do you What do you do? You drive twenty five minutes to town, or is there like a little corner store that you just go pick it up no, at? No, you you go without milk until the next time you're in town. That sounds terrible. What happens if you don't have lube? 
What do you, you do? You go what you spit. Oh. That seems really exhausting. Can't you just use like dish soap or something? I know. You have to suffer. You have to learn how to make do. You have to become resourceful, so, creative, so, and go without. Sometimes you just have to go without. Well, what if you don't have any condoms and you're like, well, this is going down. Are you like, well, butt stuff it is. Like, what do you do? You better be bringing them. Well, what if what if he <laughs> wouldn't what if he didn't plan on doing that? Because he's like, I respect this person. I'm not gonna assume we're gonna have sex tonight. And then all of a sudden you're like, yo, you're getting laid tonight. You're like, fuck, I left the condoms. Did you just like it's point just, just back third door? Base. Third base. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't even know what that is anymore. I think I'm on like base twelve I know, at this I point. I was thinking, wait, how many bases are there? I, I, I swear <laughs> I'm on base twelve right now. You know, I mean, what not, is that? That sounds like some freaky shit. Yeah, and I mean, what else am I gonna do? You know, small town, bored. There's a, there's a is lot of shit like, going on. Is that like with sheep or? Oh no, there's no no bestiality. We we've ruled that no. out. Okay. Yeah, uh, no kids, no animals. So yeah, yeah. That that's you Good know that. Oh, and no 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 like pooping on you, you know. Or playing with poop, but no dirty Sanchez. <laughs> if you're, if you're, you might, you might understand this, but if you're doing butt stuff and it pulls out and stuff comes with it, right? Yeah, you can't avoid that. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, that's not fun. Yeah, yeah. I do. I do. Yeah. Do you laugh in that situation, or do you do you get embarrassed? Or... Oh yeah, you have to laugh. <laughs> you laugh and then shower. Yeah, what do you what do you do that right away? You just roll up all the sheets and be like, "I'm I'm I'm just gonna go shower right now." And I think you just you take a minute to to breathe. Yeah, just breathe in and out and cover your face. Yeah, and then you get ready to pack. Oh, you're done. That's it. <laughs> uh, thank you for your time. I'm uh, I'm not gonna be coming back here. And anymore. I'm out of here. And, and then he's like, "This is your house." Like, yep, that's fine. I'm done. <laughs> I can't, Enjoy. I can't, I can't stay here. Cat food's under the sink. And by the way, my kids need to get up an hour earlier for uh, school because they don't <laughs> listen. So set your alarm for 630. I'm peacing out. See you later. And don't forget to turn the washer on, you know, because, well, <laughs> the sheets, they're going to need to be cleaned. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I, <I've, laughs> I haven't got there. That, that, that oops hasn't happened in my life yet. So I'm sure it will. It will. And I will. It laugh. could. It might not. It might not. You may be blessed. You may be blessed. And I'm hoping it's with a girl and not a guy. If that means anything. And yeah. I hope. I hope it's not my my butt. You know. You know. It's not your butt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unless unless the girl's really hot and she's like, "Come on, you got to try this." I'm like, "All right, fine. You talked me into it." And she was. I I didn't even try. I just asked you once. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. <laughs> Oh, twist my arm. Twist yeah. My arm. Oh, oh okay. no. Like, okay. I'm I'm getting on the bed. Okay. You don't have to force me. <laughs> wow. What okay. are you doing? Wait, wait. Where the hell did you get that strap on? Did you pull that out of your closet? No. 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 You brought that. No. No. I no. I didn't. <laughs> you just put it on me. <laughs> <laughs> With your teeth, man. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> like I said, base twelve, right? <laughs> Now I get it. Now you get it. So I, I don't I don't even know why we're talking about jobs and it went to butt stuff, but it seems par for the course when anybody has a conversation with me, including people like my mom, my cousins, uh, <laughs> all my teachers. You know, it's just it's just what what happens. I don't think we talked about what we meant to talk about. No, I don't think so. I mean, I guess I could I could edit this one. I'm not going to edit out much. Maybe just or that. run it into another one sometime. Yeah. Like, well, there was that thirty-five minute pause we had where we just like stared at each other and had nothing <laughs> else to say. <laughs> you looked so handsome in that <laughs> moment. <laughs> I you. I couldn't break eye contact, and that... I was like, "Aw, he's so yeah. cute." Aw, thank you. I've never heard that Aww. from anyone except for my mom, which I think she's probably lying, but you know, or she has to say it. She you has know? to. There, uh, you do sign something. Oh, well, I'm not a mom, so I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I did work with a kid who uh, said that his grandma always said to him, you're the handsomest boy in your school. You are so handsome. You're the handsomest boy in your school. And I was like, your grandma rocks. Oh. 
How great is that? And I bet he thought that. I bet he believed it every damn day and it gave him awesome confidence. Eh, way to go, Grandma. That's the way it should be. I can't Thanks, wait till I'm grandma. a grandma. That's going to oh. be cool. It sounds expensive. I can't wait till you're a grandma too. And you're like, oh, he's, <laughs> he's such a handsome grandma. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I think on that note, we should probably... uh call it a day and say peace out to the listeners because i don't think they want to listen to any more of this they're like what the hell is going on unless they're into transgendered grandmas and washing sheets after uh butt stuff mishaps i mean if they're into that they know where to find us answers for everything podcast peace out so i guess we're gonna say peace (laughs) out now peace out april peace out clay Wish you 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 wish you